Today we're talking books about mass timber. Well, hey, welcome back, folks. Ricky McLean here, back for another Two Minute Tuesday. Today, we're going to discuss my three top books about mass timber currently available. Now, these aren't books that are super technical, super in depth in terms of design methodologies and properties and fire design, those types of things, but they are good books, in my opinion, that do a, a great illustrative process of showing a mass timber construction project from start to finish, showing some illustrative details and giving some other context behind mass timber projects, why people are doing them, and how they're getting them done. All right, book number one, this is called Solid Wood. The author is Joe Mayo. Joe is an architect out in Seattle, has done a number of mass timber projects himself. Really great experienced architect. Now, I wanted to point out a couple things that I like about this book in particular. Joe received a scholarship to travel internationally and take a look at a number of mass timber projects, talk with the people who had done those projects, and, and have some lessons learned. This was really one of the first books that was published that took an in-depth look at mass timber projects internationally and how those projects got done. So most of what this book is, is case studies of a number of mass timber projects. And I really like some of the, the different graphics. It has pictures of each project, also details, floor plans from these projects. You can see some great pictures from, from the construction phases of these projects, details, lessons learned, uh, hurdles and challenges that these projects had when going through design, through permitting, code hurdles, insurance, lending, really goes through a number of topics of each project that is looked at across this book. And I think really showing these projects is a great way to help people understand how are mass timber projects being done. There's a variety of way to do mass timber projects. All right, book number two, Tall with Timber. Now this is a feasibility study on a proposed 12 story building in Seattle that is proposed to be tall mass timber using the new type 4B construction from the 2021 International Building Code. This is a hard copy. You can actually access this for free as a PDF online. This was a book that was put together by a number of partners, including DLR Group, Martha Swartz Partners, Fast and Up, Swinnerton Builders, Woodworks, and Heartland. What I really like about this book is its in-depth analysis of a tall mass timber building, going through everything from what is the best structural grid layout to how do you optimize supply chain, working with the supply chain and optimizing that for a tall mass timber building. It walks through things like indoor air quality and again the impact that mechanical systems have on that. And then lastly includes a detailed and comprehensive construction schedule and cost analysis comparing this 12-story mass timber building to a 12-story PT concrete building and it really highlights the fact that mass timber can be cost competitive on something like a 12-story mixed-use building. All right book number three on my list this is called Tall Wood Buildings. The authors are Michael Green and Jim Taggart. Now some of the things that I really enjoy about this book the first section takes a comprehensive look at sustainability forest management for supply chain and how is all of that feeding into sustainable construction using mass timber. It provides a really great context for tall mass timber construction. Where have we been? Where are we now? Taking a look at really the timeline of tall mass timber projects built in the past decade or so. I think that the material section in this book is really great in illustrating what are the options for mass timber? What is this umbrella of terms that we usually think of when we think of the different products that are mass timber? And towards the end of this book are a number of case studies showing different tall mass timber projects and really taking a detailed look at, again, photographs, details used from these projects, lessons learned to really give you a comprehensive look at not just what does the final project look like, but how did they actually get there? What did they learn along the way? And what are some lessons that you can potentially apply to your tall mass timber projects? All right, so those are the three mass timber books that I really enjoy reading right now. Again, they're not super in-depth technical. If you're looking for something like that, certainly let us know. There are a number of resources out there that can really help you understand how to put pen on paper and design a mass timber building for yourself. But these books give a great inspirational view at what is being done with mass timber, globally speaking, and what are some lessons learned that you can apply to your mass timber projects now. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this was useful. And as always, we'll see you back here next week.